Well, here we go. We're going to be leaving. Everybody saying it's kind of dark here, isn't it? Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. Last time I'll do this for, for a while. Is that what it is? Ah, there we go. Shed some light on the case. And, uh, it did, you know, I'm so grateful for a lot of things, but, you know, a lot of things happened this trip from July to now, you know. Ooh, first of all, of course, the, the biggest thing was the ADOS. And that's, that actually wasn't the biggest thing personally, but a big thing was the ADOS conference was truly amazing in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, so that was that was great. We know good, the good peoples that you, well, we know the good peoples. But then something I realized, I'm, you know, my brother who I ain't seen in 35 years, you know, uh, we found him, you know, he's now with my sister, but you know something about uh, meeting people that you know, like, like you know, my best friend, I ain't seen him in a while, um, uh, David, my business partner, you know, even Re Reggie, the engineer at the station, a bunch of people, Grayson, oh, but Grayson gave me a great idea for a poem, I wrote a great line for, he gave me a great concept for a poem. A lot of things happen, but what happens, uh, one of my, uh, as JB was saying, it's interesting when you meet, when, when you meet up with folks that you ain't seen in a while, then what happens really is, um, you know, you, you have same memories, you have similar memories, and, you, and it reflects a different way. But the great thing about seeing my brother for a while, because he's, you know, his hair's gone too, but you see this sort of pattern I have in my head right there, like that? Well, my brother has the same pattern. So now I don't feel so alone in the world. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Um, so I have, to, I have to break down the set, you know, actually, the set down in a... Um, and uh, well, I got to get a glass for this. Oh, I think that's about for a second. Guinness. I indulge myself, you know. Um, no, let me get a glass. I got, I got to do Guinness with a glass. Hold on, don't go no place. Hold on. I'll be right back. I got a tall glass. Get a glass. Yeah, I'll get a tall glass. Yeah, I get a get a tall glass. Uh, what is that stuff here? Anyway, uh, pour some Guinness. See, I like Guinness. Guinness is my one of my favorite beers in the world. Um, so that's done with the Guinness. And you know, I discovered a lot of things. But what was I saying about that? Uh, just, just me, just because you know, there's a certain way you can talk to your friends. They know you. You know what I mean? See, so you can talk a whole bunch of stuff, and they, it's, most time they don't even listen to what you're saying because they know what you're doing. You see what I'm saying? So that's really good. But. So much stuff, so much stuff. Got some really good books. Oh, Jackson's, Jackson's Honest, right? They had this blue corn chip that's so good. They're so good that they're sold out. At the, I got it from Whole Foods down in, it's in St. Louis. But uh, they're sold out there. So I got the sweet potato one, right? And I had it, I had it with, um, no, I had the other one with hummus. But uh, this is not as good. I don't think. But since I'm traveling tomorrow, I went and I'm going to try there. Apple cider vinegar when I travel tomorrow. I'm gonna try that. And I'm gonna mix it with, well, I have my nut mix. Here's my nut mix then. Anyway, I have a nut mix. And there's in here, you can't see them. Let me take one out. But they're dark chocolate covered sea salted <laughs> cashews. Like that. Mm. <laughs> so that's my trail mix while I'm on the trail. The trail means I go from here, take the six train now, catch the E train, Q Gardens, jump on the bus there. The bus will take me to the, the little monorail that takes the JFK, you know, terminals. With that, jump on the plane, go to Doha, then then switch over to Doha, to go to Cape Town, and from Cape Town right away because I miss my wife, and jump in a taxi coming straight to, to Alice the next morning. So I'm, I'm traveling for like three days. I don't mind. I travel. I'm built to travel. That's what I do. Um, what else are happening? Oh, some of the things that I got. One of the things I got. Well, this here is like a, I went and got my uh, my fingerprints from the FBI, you know, for, for clearance, whatever have you, because they had to do some piece of stuff from um, South Africa. But what I, what happens here, you pay one fee, but then each additional card is like only a dollar. So I got three. <laughs> We're gonna get this permanent residency and stuff like that straight this time. But also. From the uh, 125th Street here, got those DVDs, not the ones on the street. Other guys, I got the Hawk series, you no know, Hawk, you know, Avery Brooks, because that boy, I don't know why he don't. He owns the series. I don't know why he just don't market it. Well, what can I say? I got Romeo Must Die, you know, the Leah film with um, Chet Leah. I guess it is. I got this thing. It's called 
the assailant, but it's something. It's 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 a Brazilian thing. It's a classic Brazilian martial arts. I forget what it's called. Um, it's called uh, the Desario. I think it's called Desario, but in America it's called the the assailant. Something like that. I found this out because I was on the train today, and it's, and I saw this brother. He was rapping his. He, he had a rap on it. Well, he was um, uh, fixing up a rap that he had on his hand, like a like a boxer's thing. But it looked. Anyways, I asked him about it. He says, "No, he was, he had to spring this. He had you know, you know a little soreness from his. Uh, he does Muay Thai. So we talked about Muay Thai a little bit. Then I talked about Capoeira because took Capoeira for a while. Then he told me about the film. And so hey, that's how that's how that's how it goes. See, in New York, can you talk to people? Got Ghost Dog. Whoa, can't wait to show that to folks. Got the first uh, five episodes of. Uh, Godfather of Harlem, you know, the, with Bumpy Johnson, you know, the one with them, the one with uh, our Forrest Whitaker. You know, Bumpy's right hand man. My brother knew Bumpy's right hand man. We grew up with him actually. You know, he was a bully back then. Got the Mac, I like that. So I'll take all that to see South Africa. Let me see what else do I got here. Oh, they, um, I had to get some because when we did the audio drum, the audio drum is like because we filmed it. Well, you know, it's recorded. It's like it's something like fifty-five gigs. You know, so I had to buy some gigs. Some, some drives when I was buying the drives, I got these other two drives. So, this is a 128 uh, gigabyte drive, and this is a, a storage drive. And this is a 64 storage drive. So, I'm going to take them both, both down, you know, with me in South Africa. Uh, I got some, I got headphones. Um, my, uh, my old headphones is really worn out, but I'm going to keep them both. I don't know how I'm going to do it because I like my old worn out headphones. What else has happened? Um, So this is I got to tear all this stuff down, you know. I'm not tear this down, but you know, um, you know, just I'm, I'm leaving a set that's in Virginia up because I mean, my brother now sleeps in that room, so he can look at it because not to that to that to that, and so that that will happen. So when I come back, I'll still have that set up there. We'll see how much ADOS has uh, evolved from now until I get back in May. I guess it'll be May, because uh, I got to get an operation on my foot. But here's the problem, man. I don't do stuff like between my 52 days before my birthday, which would be like May 12th would be the 52 day mark. I just get back in May, so I can't uh, appoint, get the op, get the uh, appointment before I get back. So, I, but I don't want to have it before my birthday because that's the thing. That's not, you don't do stuff before you chill out before your birthday. And then so and then AWS conference happens in in uh, in August in, in October, right? And uh, Tariq might do his little conference in June, I guess, right? So I have it after my birthday. It's still waiting for October to so make sure my foot's all right. So who knows? Maybe I don't know what's going to happen. I'll figure it out that when that happens. What else I have to tell you? That's really about it. I don't have much to say because I'm, I'm breaking down. Maybe tomorrow morning. Oh, I know. I'll, I'll tell you. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do one more tomorrow morning because when I'm traveling, I can't post and uh, a bunch of stuff happens. Hmm. So that's it. Um, that's it, I guess, from me. T, from the Patterson's taking the chance to bed, letting you know what I only suspect on this wonderful trip, this grateful trip, you know, just being with my family, being with my sister and my brother, and being with my friends, you know, with my business partner, my best friend. Oh, man, with my with my radio people, getting inspiration for poetry. Oh, it's just, uh, oh, what, what, dare I forget the Eugene Redman uh, Writers Club in East St. Louis. I, I, I look forward to coming back Hanging out with them for a while, you know. I might even pay some dues because you, know, you got to pay dues for the club, you know. Um, boy, so many things, so many things. Anyway, oh, of course, I'm being being, being at, at, at at my fraternity brother's house here, um, our buddy. But he he got out of. I, I he's supposed to. I supposed to interview him. He got out of it somehow. Mm, uh, boy, man, these folks, man. Sometimes I don't think they want to be interviewed by me. But oh, one of the guys that. Uh, I interviewed no the guy on the train when I was coming up saying he we would somehow he messaged back and forth he got the thing he said you're a really good interviewer and I thought about that and what it is is that okay I am a good interviewer but that's not because well, it's because I've been doing it for so long so when I'm talking to you I'm just rambling this is not go to my <laughs> I keep on telling you go to my interview channel I haven't started a new kind of a new kind of look on the interview channel. That's what I'm most happy with. My interview techniques has evolved too because I'm an evolutionary after all. 
So anyway, so so, but that was a good compliment, you know. I'm, I have to learn to take compliments even, you know, better because I, I, I'm sort of like yeah, 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 kind of compliments, you know. But uh, but it's only because I've been doing it for so long, you know. But go to the interview channel. Stop listening to this channel. This is just me, blah 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 blah. Okay, go to the interview channel. Some incredible people on the interview channel. Okay, so that's it for me. T from the Patterson taking the drinks, but let you know what I only suspect. In a reality, because I'm always in the reality of A-D-O-S. That would be an American, that's me, an American, descendant, that well, also may have a descendant, of chattel slavery. That's right, that's what I am. And that's what you are, at least politically, that's what I am. Everything, you know, you know. Oh, that's right, let me not forget, because I got the Neely Fuller books and stuff like that, you know. You, you saw them before. Okay, so that's it. Um, happy trails to me, and I, I might even post them tomorrow morning, right before I leave, okay? All right, check it. Bye, bye.